The purpose of this uh, short video, which will be five minutes or less, is to display and describe how custom programming using the C Sharp programming language and the Tecla Open API, which Tecla structure provides, can be used to uh, uh, really reduce the amount of time and expense uh, involved in uh, structural steel detailing using uh, Tecla structures. This uh, video will describe uh, enhanced uh, filtering uh, tools and uh, I'll just bring up uh, a filter here. <clears throat> so uh, in the standard uh, Tecla filter we can uh, add a row and uh, we can filter by parts, uh, components, bolts. There's a lot that can be done. So these are very good filters. We can filter by welds, reinforcing bar, service, um, assembly, because, you know, there's all these different loads. These are all very useful things. And, um, and in fact, this tool could be modified uh, using the Tecla Open API. But uh, in for the purpose of this video, we've just created a new filtering tool. But uh, one thing that we can't uh, filter by is... Um, you know, there's all these very useful tools, and and with the uh, the different abilities, the properties and conditions, and in different things. But uh, one thing that you can't uh, filter by is uh, the uh, steel configuration necessary for um, connections. So there's there's no there's no configuration. Uh, tools available and so that's um, that's the purpose of this uh, filtering tool these are a number of tools that we've got that can we've got all kinds of these and they are very useful tools they're rather simple to make and uh, they are very useful in this case uh, this tool will filter all of the steel that has um, beam connecting to beam web so that's a, that's a unique filter on its own. There's a few check marks that we have that can um, fine tune that. Uh, here's an example of a, a filter that can filter all of the uh, configurations in the model where there's uh, a beam connected to a W profile column uh, flange. Or here's an example of um, of a filter that will filter all the connections that are a beam to uh, HSS column connections. And these uh, filters are very, very useful as all the filters are, but these filters are very useful for uh, checking or uh, for organizing your um, time as far as making uh, connections. They, they cut the time required uh, in making connections to about 10% and as far as checking goes, uh, it's faster, but it's also better. Um, I'll just run one of these uh, filters here and um, we'll, we'll set it up here. You'll see as it's running, there'll be a message appearing in the uh, notification window in uh, Tecla. And um, then we'll, we'll just uh, see. Now, uh, we can select all the beams of this type it's, uh, because there are settings in the uh, tool. Uh, it's only going to select uh, W profile beams, but we can select uh, to do all the beams in the model or the. So we're going to select all the beams model. We're not going to do just the selected beams, but we want to do all the beams that have um, this type of uh, configuration. And in this case, it's possible that um, a beam could be connecting to a beam web where the two beams have the same profiles. We want to include those. And we'll just press the uh, filter button and, uh, you know, Tecla will do its job. Uh, so the, um, the menu bar is telling us that the filtering operation has been uh, completed. Also, there's a message box that appears. And, uh, and so the filtering now, what have we... Um, so here we have the filtered beams that, um, you know, match the condition where there's um, a beam connected to a beam web. 
And uh, in this case, the connections are already made. Um, but uh, this tool is also very useful if we were just making the connections because they tend to be, you know, somewhat uh, typical. These, uh, this connection is uh, different than this one because of the difference in the beam sizes, but they tend to be uh, similar. And so that's what we've got showing here is that all of the uh, connections of that type are shown. It's a real big time saver. And, and like I'm saving, or I'll just go, you know, that's what we've got here. Now, you can see that because of the design drawings, most of the connections are similar following the, um, the desires of the connection engineer. But, um, you know, we can do the same thing with um, uh, all types of different uh, connections. And uh, these filtering tools aren't available in the standard um, portion of Tecla, but they are very useful tools and they're real uh, time savers. So that's um, that was the video for today and or for this moment. And it really did take about five minutes. And um, so once again, this tool can be used uh, for um, ease of connections, just putting everything in front of the uh, uh, the detailer so that he can just go ahead and make his connections and see everything all at once. It's a really, really useful tool. And it's just one example of what can be done with the uh, custom programming and the uh, Tecla Open API, all sorts of things. Uh, really, as our website says, uh, uh, you know, the website tecladeveloper.com. Please feel free to call, email me at uh, info at tecladeveloper.com. But uh, as the website says, that we can, you know, the, the, um, the possibilities are almost endless and uh, really quite affordable. So don't be afraid to contact us and thank you for looking at the video.